Hello guys, this is Funkafile and today I will be giving you guys some tips about laning stage with Tinker. I hope you guys are gonna enjoy the video. It's gonna be against a counter pick which is Huskar. And Huskar is a pretty good hero on laning stage, especially against uh, Tinker, but Tinker kinda counters Huskar during mid game because Huskar is a hero that relies on push and getting objectives early on and Tinker is a hero that can stop this push. So first of all guys, I will talk about the ward placement. Like, if you're playing a hero that needs some runes in early game in on laning stage, such as Lina, such as Tinker, especially if you're playing Radiant, you can just place the ward on the left top side of the river, of the, of the mid lane, uh, from these uh, trees, so you can easily see the rune and you can easily see the high ground. But if you're playing a hero such as Huskar or something, you can just play it a bit safe and you can just place the ward on the right side because placing the ward to the left side is kind of more obvious than the right side because like when people are coming to the ward that uh, mid lane ward they all, they always they usually uh, place the ward on the left side so it's like most likely going to get the warded if and there's a chance that enemy can see you while placing it if you're playing uh, dire but if you're playing on radiant it's kind of uh, this this is the like kind of less so you can still place it on the right left side so when we are playing an unfavorite matchup, always try to pull the creep wave aggro as far as you can. Uh, with doing this, you're lessening your enemy's chance to get denies. And when it comes to using laser, always try to secure either a range creep CS or deny with using laser, guys. I... If you have pushed the lane under enemy's tower, you can still try to get denies and harass your enemy, guys. While doing this, Always watch out your positioning since tower can change the aggro. Since his level is getting higher, he will be more dominant on lane, so after the lane got pushed, I'm going back to the small camp next to the mid and trying to stack it. If I go to the lane and try to get denies or harass enemy as I did earlier, I can get heavily harassed in return guys. At the moment he's a lot stronger than I am on the lane, so instead of trying to get CS with standing still, I'm pulling the creep wave aggro as I mentioned earlier guys. Like doesn't matter which, which lane you play, doesn't matter which role you play, you should always know how to pull the creep aggro, cause this is the most important thing to secure CS's on laning stage guys. Doesn't matter if you're playing off lane, doesn't matter if you're playing carry, you should always pull the creep aggro just to secure some easy CS's guys. And now, when the creep waves meets at second 20 mark, I'm using my march and securing as much as CS as I can guys. With doing this, I'm clearing the way pretty fast and now I have time to go either for a rune or stack for my own self or even maybe bot if you have enough time. And one thing I want to mention about Radiant Sight, when it comes to stacking the small camp next to the lane, it is better to eat some trees from the edge guys. This will allow you to stack the camp a lot easier and come back to lane a bit faster than you normally do. Since the lane is pushed, I am going for the same stack, but unfortunately I have my auto attack open, so my hero hits the jungle earlier, and I cannot stack it, but then I am going to the lane and using my march and pulling the creep aggro guys. Uh, 
And since enemies here doesn't really care about runes, I can easily pick them up as long as the lane is pushed. If you have eaten some trees from the edge, with using much like this you can secure CS from mid lane. At the same time, you will have another camp stacked. And I'm repeating the same thing as soon as my marks are up, just using it and securing CSs. As a tinker you wouldn't want to go to jungle before you get your soul ring and level 6, so to be able to get it from the lane, you should always use the march against a lane dominant counter pick hero such as Huskar, Ina and Brood guys. Always use the march, secure CSs and then go stack for yourself. And do not hesitate to use laser to secure a catapult CS. Since I got my level 6, I want to farm the stacks as soon as possible because an enemy can see you while stacking it guys, so it's a high chance that they will contest for it. As you can see now, Tiny have just made a rotation to mid and since I got my early, my, my early boots, I'm able to survive through it, but most likely my stacks will be gone since none of my supports are coming and helping to secure them. Stolen stacks are hurting me a lot since I'm already playing against a counter pick, but it is not the end. Since Huskar got his level 6, he's going aggressive on me, but after recent chains, he doesn't have magic resistance anymore from his third spawn. So I'm using my double march and saving my laser for his ulti. Because if I use laser before he uses his ulti, he will ulti and purge it. And by saving it till the very last second, I'm surviving and almost getting a solo kill on Huskar. Since the bottom side is a bit riskier for me at the moment, and less efficient, after recent map changes, I'm going to top shrine and stacking the two camps next to the shrine and farming them for a while. After stacking it, I'm going back to lane, farming a wave and going back to top shrine to repeat the same thing. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Dyer's structures are fortified. After stacking them a couple times, I'm farming the juicy stacks. Dyer's top tower is under attack. 
And from now on, my laning stage is over, so to get Traverse earlier and boost down Portal Scrolls. With doing this, even though I got counter picked and I got my stack stolen, I'm having um, 11 minutes travels, which is a great timing, guys. Thanks for watching, guys. This was my laning stage guide, and now I will leave you guys with the gameplay. And make sure to watch it till the very end and see my big and razor like it combo, guys. On wait. Uh, this is a pretty easy combo, you can do it on any hero that you can see on the map and you can just solo get a solo kill guys. And hope you guys enjoyed the video and do not forget to subscribe and leave a thumbs up. Take care guys, see you next time. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. <laughs> Middle tower is under attack. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack.
is muddy. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Dyer are scanning. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. Haste. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Loser. Smart. 
collect money. Horn of the Ring. Dyer's middle tower is under the top of Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's are scattered. Magic, I have laser beams. <laughs> Dyer's middle tower is under attack. <laughs> so begins. <laughs> Dyer's middle tower has fallen. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's structures are fortified. You need to do better than that to shake me. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. Dyer's middle barracks are under attack. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Time is 
Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Radiant structures are fortified. Radiant victory. 